emotional support drink with me. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back to Just Jay-Z. It's Jesse and Kaylee, finally. Uh, yeah, I know. I feel so bad. I don't even know the last time. It's been things a month, just, probably. Oh things my. are nuts. Things it's are fine. a little crazy, but it's fine. She's working for Jay-Z in other areas, so we can't blame her. <laughs> yeah, um, Okay, so we're going to start this episode with highlights and lowlights, and then I have a fun game for me and Kaylee to play. She doesn't know what it is, but I have a box of cards, and it's going to oh, be fun. Oh, okay. So I'm going to okay, surprise her. Okay, <laughs> okay, do you want to start with yours or I can start either way? Uh, what to choose for my low light? <laughs> yeah, I, there's so many. There's so many, honestly. <laughs> well, I sound like this. Um, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and that's a low light. <laughs> Everybody's always sick in my house. My dog, Aww. I had to take Ruby to the vet yesterday. Why? She's had like terrible diarrhea. No! For the last like three days. Why? So it's terrible. I don't know. She got some like bacterial thing. Aww. I don't know. So it's when it rains, it pours. It's yeah. like Stevie's sick, you're sick, yeah. the dog's sick. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My like highlight, my, is my, <laughs> my highlight is that we are actively looking for a new house. Ah! Like we've like met with a realtor, Riker's talking to a loan officer today. Do you have, like, is it the house you showed me that you're looking it at? It was, but I just don't like, I love it. We went and looked at I it did. on Saturday and I love it. Okay. Um, but I just don't know if it'll happen. Gotcha. Um, but you are going to move forward with this process regardless. Yes. And is it going to be Utah County? Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So the realtor that we met with last night, he started sending us some listings like Lehigh, Alpine, cool. Pleasant Grove. So like you're just Utah County. American Fork. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. That's so exciting. Yeah. So I'm so excited. It's all, it's just, Yeah. There's Your a lot that goes is into ridiculous. it. So this is a long time. Yeah, I'm so excited to just be closer. Um, and have more space for a new baby. Yeah. That'll be nice. Yeah. And have like space. Like we don't have like sidewalks really or like anywhere that Stevie can play. And she yeah. loves being outside. Aww. So that's been hard. So yeah. I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited for you. This so is we'll great. see. It might not happen until after the baby, but at least like right now we're like yeah. actively looking. Um, my low light is just a combination of all this where I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm a single mom right now and I can't complain because there are single moms out there and I do not want to be insensitive to that. But how do you do it? Like, oh, Riker just came in last night and he's signing up for his next oh, like no. semester classes yes. for his, which he'll be done in December, but still. And he was like, I have to be on campus two nights a week. And then it's like a, like a four hour class. Like it's oh. from six to nine 30. Oh, and I'm he used like, to do this. I remember. Yeah. He would do it on Mondays. Uh, wait, how long is this class going to be? Like, when does it end? I think it'll end in September. So it'll be like okay. over the summer. At least it's before the baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I just, but I'm just like, but it's, being ex pregnant with a it's exhausting. Yeah. And by like, I exert so much energy during yes. the day yes. that I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm like, I don't have it left in me. You know so. what sucks? I, I remember being pregnant and feeling the same way where I'm like, I'm so tired. And then I'm pregnant and I have a toddler. And I just remember being like, once I have the baby, at least I'll feel better and it'll be fine. No, it's not fine. Katie. It's worse. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but having two kids sucks. <laughs> Last night, Jagger threw Jovi off the bed and I thought she broke her neck. Like they're getting to that age where they're fighting. Oh he my He was gosh. mad at her. She tried to take the remote and he tossed her. Like I was like, I thought I had to go to the emergency room. And I was like, I can't turn away for one second. Like it's oh hard. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's terrifying. It's terrifying. Ugh, so get I ready. Know. I can't I wait. Just have to be honest with you. It's so hard, but it's so fun. It's so great, but it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> But that's my Lola is just being like alone right now. And I'm going to be alone the whole summer. And oh, it would, I would be go fine crazy. if I was, you know what? I say this and I actually take it back. I would hate <laughs> to be a nice day at home mom. Like you I would hate to. Oh yeah. Me I would too. Hate it because I did it this weekend for two days and I wanted to die. <laughs> no, I like have to have an outlet. No, like, me too. I, I'm like, no. I can't be alone with the kids no. all day long and have nothing. No, no. There's certain, there are some days that that happens, like, mm -hmm. especially like on a Monday, if we get back from a trip, like early in the morning yes, yes. and then you have to go home and, and then I go pick up Stevie, like from Riker's mom. And then Riker doesn't get home until like 11 on Mondays yeah. nights because he goes to campus. Yes. It is like the worst, torch. Right? Like, I don't know how people do it. No, me either. I and especially do not with know. like four kids. Yeah. Like. I, 
I feel like I need to pay my nannies more. Like, I'm like, what is happening? Like, yeah, I love my kids so much, but it is so hard. And especially now that they're older too, like Jovi's getting into everything. Yeah. Jagger is uh, like four and crazy. Like they're just hard right now. And I'm like, oh my Stevie's gosh. become so opinionated and I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> like she was such an easy baby yeah, and like so chill. And she still really is chilled. Like I really don't have a lot to complain about, but she like but is finding her voice. Hard as a yeah. <laughs> like a two year old's heart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, my so gosh. Fair. It's the worst. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, so I'm just over it. I'm like, ugh, I'm well, so glad that Jordan's fixed. Um, <laughs> my highlight is, is that have, this is now a venting podcast. You have one. No, literally. I also feel like there's something wrong with my hormones. Cause remember how I've started my period? Like I had a period two weeks later. I did it again. I have been starting my period every two weeks and yes, no, thank you. I don't know what's happening. So I think I need to go get checked out. So I think that's also messing with my hormones. I did do the shot. Maybe did that mess with your period? Ozempic? I don't like think hormones. so. I mean, I'm sure it could. I'm also weaning off I my think antidepressants, so that's oh. also why I'm crazy right now. <laughs> no, uh-uh. Because they made me numb. I will like, never I just, do that again. Yeah, it's... I, I tried that once, and it was the worst it experience It is the worst life. thing ever. No. Did, what were your symptoms weaning off of it? I, like, I remember just, like, having headaches yeah. all the time and, like, feeling nauseous and, like, yes. irritated. Yep. But, like, I was just, like, so angry and mm-hmm. just wanted to cry all the time. That's how I feel. And I'm getting brain zaps. Did you ever get that? No. Oh, it's, like, a, it's like a common thing, I guess. I Googled it. And it's, like, you you get dizzy and your brain feels like it's electrified. It's the... I just, oh, yeah. yeah no, and I am. I, I'm on edge. I'm crying. And I never cry it's weird. So I'm like, there's something going on with me. I won't do it ever again. <laughs> if this doesn't get better in like a month, I'm going to go back on them. Cause I just felt like it was making me too numb. Well, it's the longest process it to is. do too, because like, you have to like go two days, then two well, days. Like, and it's like, they have days. to like lower your dosage. Yeah. Like it's like a, like months you can't just cold do. turkey because it can literally like mess you up oh so i tried to doing... do that when i was a freshman what? in college and i was like suicidal yeah, like it was imagine. so bad that's yeah. really bad yeah i've been having to do like i skip two days and i skip four days because mine are like capsules you can't yeah. like just cut them in half it's been a nightmare but anyway i'll be fine <laughs> it's just been one of those weeks wait so it's did terrible. you say a highlight yeah no no i don't have <laughs> just kidding um my highlight is there's got to be something i know i was thinking of something the other day is there one <laughs> i literally don't know i mean you had my your highlight? first golden opportunities come yes out. that was great golden opportunities has been a highlight in my life just because it's been when you're feeling this way i do think it's beneficial to like focus on other people yeah and like get outside of yourself so whenever i do things for others i feel way better so maybe that is my highlight just that i've been able to do that and have an outlet that way so i found this game it's called we're not really strangers and we basically are asking each other questions to see how well we know each other oh. and i thought this would be fun <laughs> um i don't know how to play it this is brand new but i thought it looked cool okay so basically um i got this and i got a couples version so me and jordan have been doing the couples version Ooh, that would be it's fun. actually been really cool because yeah. we've been like talking about things we never would talk about um but this is the friend version so i'm oh excited so I can't wait. there are different levels so level one is perception which means like how others see you level two is connection. And then level three is reflection. And then there's dig deeper cards. Oh, so this is going to be fun. (laughs) Sounds good. I know. Right. A note from the creator. What is this? I have found there are two ways to play this game. Number one is playing safe. And number two is playing to grow. The second is how you win. That's cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Amazing. Is there a way to win this game? I, I guess know, getting right? the most right. I guess whoever knows each other best. So we're just going to answer questions and whatever. Okay. So I'm just going to ask you this and you tell me. Okay. Okay. Are you lying to yourself about anything? <laughs> That's a deep one. <laughs> Uh, no, I feel like I'm a pretty open book. I don't really like hide anything. Yeah. I'm like, "Eh, whatever. You are pretty open. Like you, yeah, I agree with you on that. Okay. Um, now you ask me from level two. I could literally answer this for you. (gasps) Really? Okay. What is it? What's your father's name? And tell me one thing about him. Well, his name is (laughs) (laughs) Michael Timothy Draper. (laughs) 
<laughs> and he was born on September 12th of, I don't know what year, honestly. I think it was 66. 66. Like okay. Well, that's, that's hilarious. Yeah. I know that about your dad. Everyone knows my dad's name and this, the origin behind it yeah. at this point. <laughs> Keely probably talks to my dad more than I do. So I talk to him very often. Yeah. Very We've been meeting often. with him right after this. Look at yeah. us. Um, okay. What was the question though? What's your father's name? Okay. And tell me one thing about him. Okay. So Kaylee answered Michael Timothy Draper. We call him Michelle because his Michael name is the Michelle is the French spelling. So it's like Michelle, um, which is why it's called money with Michelle. And he will not answer to nothing but Michelle. Like yeah. that is, if you call his name in a crowd, if you say Tim, nothing, Michael, nothing, <laughs> Michelle, he'll turn around. Um, something about my dad is he is very financially aware of yeah. money. I wish I had that a little bit more because I feel like he is so good with money, but like to the point where like he has a hard time spending it. You know what? He's gotten better though. He's going to Europe twice this year. Like he's yeah, getting better. That's wild. Yeah. They leave tomorrow. They're gone for two weeks. That's so fun. It's going to be I'm crazy. I'm so jealous. I am too. It's going to yeah, be nice. I, but yeah, he's a good, he's good with money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was level two, right? So yeah. now we're to level three. Ooh. I'm nervous. Level three. <laughs> This is weird asking you about like, answer this for me. Um, do you believe everyone has a calling? If so, do you think I've found mine? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do think that you've <laughs> found yours. I think you need so. to learn to set more boundaries for yourself. But yes, I think that you've found yours. You're like, you need to stop finding callings, yeah. actually. <laughs> if you could just chill for a minute. Uh, oh, that's so funny. I'm not asking that question. <laughs> How does one earn your vulnerability? Have I earned it? How can I earn more? <laughs> You're like, I don't want more actually. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm pretty open with everyone. Yeah. Like I, I don't think it's hard to earn my vulnerability, which is a bad thing. Like I think I yeah. need to create more boundaries there. Um, but I feel like once you work with me, especially in a close setting, you just know everything about yeah. me. So you've definitely seen me at my highs and my lows. Yeah. And I don't think you want to see more. So. <laughs> <laughs> like today I'm like, I feel very comfortable with our relationship. I, you know, yeah. it is what it is. We've been, so. through, we've been through the rigor. That was, was that level three? Yeah. Did I already do a three to you? Yeah. Okay. Do you think I've ever been fired from a job? If so, what for? Yeah, you were fired from somebody, hence why you have this business. <laughs> I'm dead. So if you're curious on what that means, go listen to Jesse's story on Apple Podcasts. So that's my favorite story to tell people. That is I'm actually like, I've I'm like, never Do you see that chandelier right there? <laughs> you're like, let me just go in a deep dive. You know what's funny? Like obviously I know that story happened but like I don't think of it as being fired but you're right that's totally what happened yeah. I was fired and now I have this so yeah. it was a blessing in disguise what's the first thing you noticed about me <gasps> Ooh, that's interesting um I think the first thing I noticed about you it was the day I interviewed you and didn't you like you like had to like you like watch Jagger for me for a minute like um like you had like held him right like oh Stu yeah it was you. like the it was actually was it right before? I don't know. I was getting my hair done mm -hmm. and Stu was like, I have to go to the bathroom. Can somebody hold the baby? You're like, okay. And he just handed and me then, Jagger. Yes, that. And then there was one day, like before you started that I asked you to watch Jagger. Oh yeah, yeah, And you yeah. like came and got him even though you were sick. Were you sick? Yeah, I was like so sick. Yeah, yeah, you came and got him and I like felt so bad. But just the fact that you were willing to like do whatever. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I'll take the baby. I'll do this. Like, I just felt like from the beginning, I noticed that you had like a good work ethic. Oh, thanks. And I was proven right. I took... <laughs> I took Jagger home and it, he just like took a nap the whole time that oh, I watched him and I just amazing. took a nap on the couch too. Like, being a mom is so easy. I could do this. <laughs> a year later, little Probably, did you know. Yeah. No, you were pregnant. What? Like probably a few months after that? Six months after I that? I got pregnant. November? It, yeah. Yeah. And that was March. Yeah. So yeah, like seven, eight months. Yeah. Eight yeah. months later. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one's kind of weird, but. I guess we just have to give into it. Um, if you could have it your way, who would you be with? Where would you be? And what would you be doing? Um, uh, let's see. I think I would be on, I would probably do like a European trip. Ooh. 
Probably with my family. Oh, that's a good one. I love hanging out with like my brothers and my mm-hmm. parents and like my sister in laws and stuff. That's awesome. They're fun. So that's probably what I would do. That's the best part about being an adult and like just getting along with your siblings yeah. and having like adult relationships. That's yeah. awesome. So that's oh, probably I love what that. I would that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last thing you lied to your mother about? <laughs> Jordan's truck. <laughs> I literally haven't told them yet. And I'm like terrified to tell them. Oh my gosh. I Just can't be like, what are you doing? I'm like, yikes. Yeah. Yeah. That's not, at least it's not my lie. It's there. It's his. Yeah. But still, you I could tell honestly, your dad during our meeting. Oh, <laughs> could you imagine? He's like, that's it. We're shutting the school down. You're going bankrupt. <laughs> no, no, honestly, the reason I haven't told them is just because I think Jordan should tell them like, yeah. it's his thing he decided to do. So yeah. like, whatever. They're going to listen to this and find out, but <laughs> actually, I don't think they listen, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> what would oh, no. what would make you feel closer to me? <laughs> I don't know if there's much. You've seen it all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that there's much, honestly, if I'm being honest. I feel like we've been through so many different things that, like, there's not much else I feel like that yeah, could happen. No. So no, we're very lucky. Yeah, we have a very unique relationship, <laughs> I think. Was oh, that three? That was three, yeah. Okay. So then you do three and then I'll go back to one. How do our personalities complement each other? Oh. I know the um, answer to that. <laughs> you can answer after me. Okay. Um, I feel like it's similar to me and my dad where like yeah. I'm like kind of the crazy one and my dad like keeps me stable and I feel like you're the same way where like I like... I'm crazy. And then you're just like more logical. Yeah. And I feel like I need that, especially in a director, because I feel like you're like by the book and like good that way. Yeah. Is that what you were yeah. going to say? I was just going to say like, you have ideas and I give structure to Yes. Them. There that's, you go. Yeah, that's how we function. Exactly. So. And I need people like that in my life yeah. or else my ideas would never happen. They would just be crazy. <laughs> um, okay. This one's kind of fun. Think of your favorite childhood TV show and on the count of three, say it out loud at the same time. But should we like dictate like high school or like childhood just so we're not like two different categories? Uh, like maybe high school? Gosh, I don't know do that know? I would be able to answer high school. I would be able to answer childhood. Oh, okay. Let's but, do childhood. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Lizzie, Lizzie McGuire. McGuire. <laughs> That's so funny. That's awesome. I was wondering if yours was going to be like that same. So you know what's funny? funny to me? My Roman Empire is that Lizzie McGuire had such an impact on us, and I'm pretty sure it was only two seasons. Yeah. And it, it felt like and it was our whole childhood. I'm trying to think, like, when did it? I want to see when it came out, too, because. Yeah. But I just I remember think it was like coming 2002. Home. Like, I was not like a cartoon person yeah, growing up. Me like, too. I did not like cartoons. You're like, I am so mature. Yeah. I not it need started this. in 2001, and it was <gasps> two seasons. Yeah. See, that is insane to me and that like just had such an effect on our generation you know when did the movie come out oh the movie is my roman empire like Uh, that is the lizzie wire movie came out in 2003 okay yeah maybe that's why it was such a big deal to us because the movie was was, such a big deal i was only i I was only six when that came out but i like still remember going to the theater how old are you right now i'm 27 I'm five years older than you. Cause I was like, I remember being like at least 10 or 11. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's no, I remember too. Like that going to the theater, like yeah. what am I going to wear to the movie? Oh, and having that soundtrack. That movie is something that like I could still watch today though. Like I might watch yeah. it tonight. Now that we're Metamorphosis was the first album that I ever owned. Yes. Same. Like the, like with her hair in the wind yeah. and like, Oh, it was so good. Sweet 16. Yeah. Iconic. Like she has created such a, what I love about Hillary Duff is she had such an iconic career career but she like still does and is like a normal mom who never really went through a crazy yeah. phase like that we know of I she, I love her yeah I think she's one of my yeah. idols okay this will be interesting how many speeding tickets do you think I've gotten <gasps> in my life oh god see okay my gut instinct is zero but I feel like you're the type of person that has like sneakily had things like that happen <laughs> I feel like I want to say one. I've never had a ticket in my life. Okay. I, okay. I, yeah. I had that feeling, but I'm like, I could see you having like a funny story. Yeah. Of like, cause no. I feel like in your college days, you had some funny stories, oh, yeah. but that I've gotten out. like a parking ticket in college. Yeah. But that other than count. that, I've never, so I've been pulled over by a cop. Well, twice you were with me the second Wait, time when? that I ever got pulled over by a cop is when, when we were that? going to the Laney concert <gasps> yes. and I changed lanes into the HOV lane. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The, that was oh, terrifying. Talk like, we're the double line. Lady. Yeah. No, <laughs> that was funny. But yeah, I well, didn't get been, a ticket. So no. 
You're fine. Never had you a ticket. You got good luck. Getting pulled over is really scary. Yeah. Have you ever told someone I love you but didn't mean it? Um, I don't think so. That's good. Um, I feel like I haven't either. I feel like that's pretty like niche. Yeah, no, I yeah. have not. How many boys have you said I love you to? <laughs> There's too many to count. <laughs> I well, I just lost like hold on. One, two, three, <laughs> four, six. That's a lot. Yeah. Wow. Are they were they all boyfriends? Um yes. Okay. Wow. I, think I would mine's say only though, four. <clears throat> I've only had like I mean, I guess when I've told somebody that I love them, that like means that it was pretty serious, but yeah. like long term, like, well, cause like high school serious so boyfriends, than... I've had three. Okay. Gotcha. So yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Six. My first, my first like boyfriend that I really ever had was in seventh grade. Okay. Do you, which that does sounds, not count. But that, but <laughs> we, we dated on and off all the way through high school. Oh, like okay. he like, okay. he like taught me, he was he, your first love. Like he taught me how to like fight with somebody. <gasps> like we were like, had like a very like serious relationship, wow. like how to like argue yeah. with like a significant other. In yeah. a good or bad way. <laughs> we would like go at each other's throats. What? Yeah. That young? Oh yeah. What? But oh, then yeah. it was like, but then we got into high school yeah. and things like kind of got Wait, worse. In junior high, you were fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I, I don't know. I just can't picture Peyton like arguing with a boyfriend. Like, I don't know. I guess I just am really stubborn and I don't put up with bullshit. Yeah. No, that's true. You are who you but, are. But no, like we had like okay. a pretty serious like relationship. I remember hearing like about he him. was yeah. like, he, was this the prom guy that like no. made out with your, okay. No, that's no. That was we never one. like really, we like, just, like kind of dated, but it was okay. never really that's anything. Good. So. I guess even though we did a box the whole time, we can do one vent deck and then we'll be done. Oh, yeah. Um, these are always fun. So let's see. I want to get this relationship one. I, the, so it's called um, like couples or something. Like we're not really strangers, couples version, and you can get it at Target. The final card is each player write a message to the other, fold and exchange, open only. Want you to have parted. Uh, <laughs> I have nothing more to say to you. <laughs> you say I not quit. in a bad thing. Wait, <laughs> and but I open like, it. She like open I, it alone. There's nothing that I would be like. Like Let I've me said write a letter everything that I would have to yeah. say to you. Well, so. we talk a lot too, so there's not much that goes unsaid. <laughs> like whatever. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. I'm just going to mix these up and then choose because I started reading them and that was a bad idea. Um, this is a good one. I feel like I know your answer. <laughs> what beverage will you absolutely not drink? Um, I guess like other than the obvious. Well, that's what I was thinking for you, oh. just alcohol. <laughs> Mine's probably Diet Coke. Oh, I really? Diet Coke. Yeah, I've had to learn to love it because I don't want to be fat anymore. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> no, I hate Diet Coke. Yeah, no, that's a good one. I feel like mine is like... I love beverages. I'm a beverage yeah. girl. Like I would rather drink things all day than eat. Yeah. So I don't feel like there's many actually. I've been on a sparkling you know what? water kick. Oh, so is Kira. Like yeah. you had lemon and lime? No, I just like, I'll get like the ahas or oh, like yes. the, uh, bubbly or something Those like are good. that. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, I feel like mine's just like liquor. Like I don't like liquor. Yeah. Like taking shots sounds miserable to me. Like I'll have a glass of wine, but I'm not like a liquor person. This is okay. I, this has been, I, I mean like whatever when I did drink and like party and whatever I just could never wrap my head around like getting something to just sip on yeah it's like you drink to get fucked up like have you heard that song by starting six where it's like if you're not drinking to get drunk what you drinking for yeah no like, literally I it made no sense to but me that alcohol is disgusting yes I think the only reason I get a glass of wine is because I'm a lightweight so I can get buzzed yeah. off a glass of wine and there are wines that are like you can stomach them. Like yeah. there's like fruity, like yummy ones. Yeah. But like, I'm not going to order a martini and just drink one. No. Cause what's the point? And it's disgusting. So I I'm like, I just would take there's like, that are good though. okay. Have you ever had one? Cause I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, yes. Good. Like even cocktails. I'm like, I can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there's something wrong I with me. I would just take like six poles of vodka and call it good yeah. for the night. You're either doing that's There is yeah. no in between for me. I'm either ordering a glass of wine at dinner or I'm having shots. I never understand people like, what? Like pina coladas are good. 
Oh, I will give you that. I like a good pina colada. Yeah. Okay, you need to send me some recipes. But do you get buzzed off of them? I mean, yeah, but like not like. That's my thing. Is I'm like, if I'm not drinking, if you're not like, but also I'm in an age where I don't want to really get trashed. I just want to be buzzed. I don't want to be hungover. Yeah. 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 No, I agree. Send me some recipes. I love having a cute little, you know, drink. Like a cute drink. Yeah. A little mocktail. Yeah. That's what I love about the Social Hampton place we went to is they made cute yeah. mocktails, like the glitter balls. Yeah. And like, it was cute. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Having Kaylee back was great. And we will catch you next time. Bye. See ya.